Hi everybody, so uh, I want to talk to you a little bit about Amazon Web Services or AWS Free Tier. So if you're starting out in cloud computing or you're interested in trying out AWS, this is a good opportunity for you to uh, learn a little bit about how this works. Also to, um, if, you're, if you're doing a, a, a class project or just any type of learning, uh, the free tier is a really great way to, to learn how to use Amazon and, and give you some valuable cloud computing resources that you might not have access to otherwise. So um, let's go take a quick look. So if I just go Google AWS free tier, you'll find the page right here. So it's aws.amazon.com slash free. And this page shows you all the different things that you can get and it breaks down the details of how you get set up. And so what you'll wanna do is go in and create a free account. And I've already done that, so I'm not gonna walk you through the actual account creation. And there's great learning resources out here that you can use. What I am gonna do is focus on a few of the main uh, services that you might use if you're developing or learning. One is EC2. So EC2 is essentially um, compute resources or computers that are in the cloud that you can use. And they're virtualized and so um, we'll go and create one of these real quick. The other thing is RDS. RDS is a set of managed databases so you can create a MySQL database, Postgres, uh, Amazon Aurora, or even Microsoft uh, SQL Server database out there and use that database. And then there's also S3, and you can think of S3 as just a big file storage area where you can st store files. Now, uh, free doesn't mean that you get unlimited access, and so each one of these tells you a little bit about what you get. So, for example, you get 750 hours of compute per month. On, on the free tier. And when you configure things, you can do a couple of things that's really important. One is you can set things up so that you're within the free tier, so that you're not going to be charged. Because when you set your account up, you're going to have to provide a credit card or payment information. And they will charge you if you go over your free allotment. And I've had that happen with um, Microsoft Azure. I got hit with a pretty significant charge because I wasn't aware that some stuff was running out there that I had started. And my fault, not theirs. Uh, Amazon does make it a little bit easier to monitor what's going on and I've actually s set up billing alarms so that if anything gets charged at all or is going to get charged, I get an alert through email. And I'll show you a little bit about that as well. Um, Okay, so real quickly, um, I'm going to go log in. And so this is, if you've, already, if you've already logged in or already created an account, you can log in. So we'll go to EC2 first. And creating a new instance is really, really easy. Um, I go here. And it'll show all the instances that I currently have running and then I can just select launch an instance and it gives me a choice of lots of different machines here that I can pick, that I can choose from. So if I want just a standard Amazon Linux machine, uh, you'll notice right here it says this is free tier eligible so that's what you want to watch for. And so I'm just going to say review and launch and I'm going to launch this. There's a lot of security stuff you can set up. Um, I've got some security stuff already set up out there. And so we will just choose an existing key pair and launch this. Let's go ahead and launch. So I guess it's going to make me create a new key pair. So uh, test. This is to give you a private key access. So this allows you to connect to your instance um, using um, a console application. And so I'm going to proceed without for now just so you can see how this works. And that's really all there is to it. It's launching the instances now. 
You'll see right here that it's starting it up. Now, T2 Micro is a relatively small machine, um, but this gives you a, a, a great little machine to work on. And it's got Linux installed, so basically software like Apache or other things that you might use, um, you can put on that machine. And you can connect through that private key. And I'm not gonna, I am not—I can go into details in other videos to show you how to do that. All right, real quick. So um, let's jump back over here and look at RDS. So RDS is probably the other thing that most people would use. And here you can just spin up a database server. So you'll notice here, uh, here's all the different things that you can do. And again, I can get go ahead and get started on this. And you pick which thing you want. So you'll notice there's MariaDB, Oracle, Postgres, MySQL, uh, Amazon Aurora. So if I wanted to set up a SQL server, you pick the thing that you want. And down here, again, watch for these free the free tier information. And hit next on that. And um, again, I won't go through the details of this. I've got some other videos out on YouTube that kind of show you how to deal with uh, actually getting the database set up. But it's just that simple. You just go ahead and type it in. And you specify your username and password. And you'll be able to connect to this using SQL Server Management Studio. If you use MySQL, you'll be able to connect using that. Um, and let's see. It'll, uh, the advantage of RDS is it'll take care of things like backups for you, but you kind of have to pay attention to that. Um, there's maintenance windows here. And so, um, again, there's a lot of detail on each one of these services on how you use them. So here's our instances. Now it'll take a few minutes for this to launch, but I'll actually have a SQL Server instance out there running. And then S3, um, let's just jump over to that real quick. And you can see there's just lots of different services we could be looking at here. Um, Basically, a bucket is like a folder, and then you can put files in there. And it's really easy. I've got some buckets out there already. And for any one of these, I can create a folder in it, and then within the folder, I can upload files. So really, really easy to do. Um, so yeah, I would recommend that you take advantage of this. Oh, the one thing I wanted to show you was the billing alarm. So let me show you that. I, I really recommend you watch this carefully because... I've got stuff running out there right now and I need to remember to go shut it down and you can stop things without terminating them so that um, you can just start them back up when you need to use them. So from a learning perspective, I mean they don't give you enough compute and disk and everything to do everything that you might want to do for developing an application um, and leave it running in production, but you certainly can, uh, you certainly can learn how to do things out there. So let's look at billing. And where you want to go here, uh, once you get in, before you start setting up anything, this will show you a graph of stuff. So you can see I've got some RDS charges out there. And there's a certain amount per month that you get charged. If you go over that, it'll hit your credit card with that. You'll notice on mine, I've got an alarm going off here that says I'm over. And it was really great to get this email notification letting me know that. And under preferences under billing, you can set up to receive billing alerts here. And then you can set the parameters. You can say, well, if it goes over by a dollar, then send me an alert. Or it goes over by $10. And in my case, it's if it goes over by one cent, send me an alert. Because I want to keep everything within the free tier. And there's more details again on how you set all that up. So um, let's look at one more thing real quick. So um, we looked at a couple of these just really, really quickly, really lightning round of going through these. 
There's some things out here that are always free once you sign up. And if you hit all here, you can read through all the different services that are available to you out there. And this is just amazing that you can, you can work with all of this. Um, you can work with all of these services for free and learn how to use them. And then you can decide if you want to go ahead and pay for that, if that makes sense. Okay, so you, you, the list just goes on and on and on, and I'm not going to go through every one of them. The ones that I tend to use is EC2, RDS, and S3. So uh, anyway, that's a quick uh, little overview of the AWS free tier. Uh, it's good for 12 months, so you sign up and they give you credits, and then you just uh, work within that account. And I recommend that you go try it out. Amazon Web Services are uh, the real leader out there in cloud computing and they are constantly adding new services and new capabilities and it's a great skill to develop uh, is to learn how to use Amazon Web Services. So hope this was useful for you. I can deep dive into more details on, the, on these different services. Again, there's some videos out there on YouTube uh, on using RDS uh, specifically. So thanks. Uh, if you like this video, please um, like it and We'll just go from there. We'll see you soon.